This is what happens when you live in the country. I'm fixing to have me a dead hog here. These things tear my stuff up. Mmm, pork tacos. All right, folks, how y'all doing this afternoon? So, what do we have for today? Today we have, I don't know if I'm saying this right or not, Okansi, 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 Memphis Pell L, Crosstown Brewing Company, CBC, Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, there's not a, lot, a whole lot on this can. Information wise, 5.5%. So, there's actually not, a, not very much on the uh, website either. So, uh, instead of reading what uh, about this information, they don't have any on here. I'm just going to read their little intro on their website. Crosstown Born and Brew. Crosstown Brewing Company is a reflection of the neighborhood. It's scrappy, quirky, and driven by a passion to build something amazing. It's a true original with a wide variety of influences, tastes, and personalities. A mix of the best of the past updated to be relevant today. We are proud to be part of this neighborhood and this city. And that pride is reflected in our beer, our company, and our people. This may have started with two guys and a big dream, but now it's a part of something bigger. The spirit of revival and creativity. Cheers to the movement. Cheers to the movement. I wonder what kind of movement they're talking about. We're fixing to find out. Let's see if this is any good. All right, smell. Does it smell good? <sighs> okay, it smells a wee bit hoppy. Not, not uh, as bad as the uh, full-blown IPAs, but Smells kind of mellow, IPA-ish. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Hmm. All right. Now then, me not being a full beer connoisseur, I can't tell you what the difference is between a technically, scientifically speaking, difference between a pale ale and a Indian pale ale IPA. But I can tell you this pale ale is quite a bit smoother than an IPA, full-blown IPA. So, in my personal opinion, if you're ever wanting to get into IPAs without going full-blown, just try your hand at one, this would be a good start. This regular Pell L would be a good start. It's got that IPA flavor, just not full-blown in your face. IPA flavor. So if you're looking for a start in IPAs, start out with a Pell L, regular Pell L, Oaken, Okenzi. This is a good start. This is actually almost good tasting. Alright. 
So my wife and kids were getting in the car this morning and uh, um, Stephanie starts yelling. I, I'm on the couch, I can hear her yelling. It sounded like she said, big dog. I'm, I'm, I could hardly hear her and I'm coming out to the front and it's like, big dog, big dog. Anyway, so I get out front on the front deck and all of a sudden this big hog comes out. It's got three piglets with it. Uh, <clears throat> this hog's been running around for a while. I haven't actually seen it this close to my property yet until this morning. My neighbor, um, he's had it over there several times. So this is the people that live about three houses down own this hog and they they've got another big one they do not take care of their animals they just this things these things are always getting out and tearing up the neighbors yards they don't care so I actually went out there with my handgun and shot about five times near it thinking it would scare them off and they'd get away from my property and not tear anything up they didn't even flinch. The big mama just sat there and stared right at me like, what are you doing? So, they ended up going around the back, getting in the kiddie pool. The big hog got in the kiddie pool. Oh, that's aggravating. I mean, it's interesting. That was a uh, something I probably won't forget anytime soon. But, uh, I didn't end up shooting it or nothing, but I don't know, it's hard to make that call if it's in your backyard or around your kids. At what point do you do something? But uh, The neighbors have called the sheriff on them before and the, the people that own it just don't seem to care. So Anyhow, we didn't have any actual pork tacos today. Now then, back to the beer, review-wise. <sighs> I'm going to give this maybe a 6 or a 7. Better than a normal IPA. IPA is not going to get up to a 7. This being just slightly hoppy-ish, I'll give it a 6 or a 7. So if you want to try out an IPA, want to try your hand on an IPA, start out with this first. 